Uh, starts at 35. Should I be wearing something better? Size club? No. <laughs> When are you gonna learn to play Battle on the Big Bridge or Clash of the Bridge? The How many instruments can you play? <laughs> What's that one? What's that one where it's got like a stem and it looks like a ladle and then it's got like a mouth at the bottom of it and you can like open it? Oh, oh a tomatone. <laughs> Do you have one of those? No. Do you know what that is though? Yes, I know what uh, it is. Oh, those things are amazing. They have, there are many, many <laughs> YouTube covers. Yeah, they do. <laughs> We're back at my brother's house and uh, everyone's <laughs> either not here right now or taking a shower. Um, it's morning, we just woke up. And I wanna show you kitties. Luna, where'd you go? Luna, where'd you go? Oh my God, she was just here. Ugh. Okay, I gotta find a cat now. <laughs> I found her. I lured her in. You're so fluffy. You're so fluffy. <laughs> Do you see her face? <laughs> what? <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> We're down at my mom's house. Hi, Pepper. Hi, Pepper boy. So last winter, Pepper was diagnosed with a neurodegenerative disease. So his hind legs are not working so great anymore. Um, and it's gonna kind of just spread, I guess. I think Pepper's 12, 12 years old. Yeah, yeah, pretty baby. But he's still happy for now. He doesn't know anything's wrong. Are you gonna come over? Yeah, you gonna come with us? You poor baby. Come on, buddy. Hi, buddy. Aww. Shortly before Pepper was diagnosed, my mom's other little puppy, Sable, passed away. And now she has a new little puppy. This is Evie. Evie is eight months old. Hi, Evie. Hi. Uh, and right now we're here to help, um, just help the tourists and stuff. So we need to get a ladder out of this barn here. Uh, but in order to get the ladder out, we have to cut all of this tall grass in front of it. And June was able to cut a bunch of it with the riding mower but the riding mower is not powerful enough because it's like really, really tall grass. 
We have a push mower and we have a weed whacker, but June decided he wants to use the scythe because, I don't know, did you use that in Japan? Yes. Yeah. Sometimes. My grandpa told me everything about scythe. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go inside for now. You enjoy cutting stuff. If you need help, let me know. So I'm gonna cook dinner for Rachel's family. And I just came back. We got all these food. groceries. It's like $100 of groceries. $150. For a test meal. <laughs> Which... There's so many things that I already have in Japan, but I needed to get because I mm, don't have it here. Basic ingredients. Yeah. And if this recipe goes well, then what's it going to be? A Patreon recipe one day? Jin's Kitchen? Uh, Patreon recipe, and I think I'll make at least two recipes for your grandparents, for grandpa and for grandma. Okay. Well, good luck. <laughs> This is okay. It's gonna take a while. So, I was just helping my brother put gutter guards on his gutters, which meant I had to pick up the shingles on the edge of the roof a bunch. Uh, just gutter guards, you know, they cover the top of the gutter so that stuff doesn't go in there. Uh, last weekend I helped him clean them out, but apparently by touching the shingles, I got like these basically barely visible Micro, well, I guess not microscopic, but super tiny pieces of shingle stuck all over my hands and it <laughs> really hurts. It feels like I have like a thousand paper cuts. Uh, so I heard or I, I saw one point on the internet that if you use Elmer's glue and let it dry and peel it off your skin, it will get rid of splinters. So I've been trying this and it actually super works. So I thought I would show you an example. I found one of these little splinters that you can actually see. There you go, that black dot right there. That's one of them. So I'm just going to put some glue and because it takes forever to dry if it's really thick. I just spread it out like this and it should dry fairly quickly and then I can peel it off. You can see the remnants of this glue all over. I basically just need to make glue gloves because I have them all over. Uh, I, had a, I just did a big one on my palm. You can see it hasn't fully dried here. It dries clear so I, I don't know where I started it actually. Uh, okay, here's some. There we go. I think I might have to land this thing. It doesn't have a lot of help. Oh no, landing's the hard part. It really is. This is all glue. <laughs> it's no skin, so don't be freaked out. Basically, I just need to rub my hand all over this part and see if I feel any more pain. And if not, that means I got it out. Okay, I think. Yep, it's gone. I had a few of them. I had them all over here and some right around here as well. So, those are fortunately gone now in this little patch of glue. All right, I need to go wash my hands. That's where I can feel it the most. We'll see. Okay, this one came out while I was washing my hands. So, it feels like most of them are gone. I still have a cup, oh, no, ow. Okay, I've got, I've got some more in here in between these two joints. So I'm gonna go glue myself up a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, totally works. And then you get to peel glue off your skin. Yeah. What you cook it? Potatoes. So chopping potatoes into super fine little strings. I wish I had a slicer. Mm -hmm. Well, 
one day we can get a slicer. <laughs> Take them out of there and put them in there. Okay. Uh, okay, we're replanting. So all these next to the house go move over. <laughs> Just slightly. Oh boy. What are you looking for? I don't know what it's called in English. It's something like this, but a lot wider oh. to make a garden. It's really hard, the clay, with clay. The clay? Yeah. Put the camera on up here, man. Okay. Ah, you got one. This? Uh, I need a little bit of water, but I'll see what I can do with this. Pitchfork. Okay. Yeah. Yeah.